And welcome, everybody, to the Power Comics live stream. We are joined, of course, by Ben and Gabe, but screw you guys. We're here for our Power Celebrity guest, Mr. Tony Lorenz, John Tar number one, Artist Supreme. Welcome. How's it going? Great, man. Great. <laughs> uh, We're not worthy. <laughs> yeah, we are not. <laughs> We're absolutely not worthy. Um so how how is everything going tony uh, how are you how are things good good yeah. uh keeping busy we're on a lot of art projects going on nice hell yeah awesome. brother yeah and uh i think at the end of the show you got to show us some of the stuff that you've been working on now if you have it uh, at, at arm's okay. reach there <clears throat> i think that would be sweet but uh uh we got some folks in the chat we got jordan's here we got who else we got? Tofo, Tad, goddamn logs here. People are we got Will. Up. We got Will Holloway, another uh, mm. another Bill Miller uh, yep. alumni. We got, uh, <laughs> right. we're, we're, we're the we're Bill Miller the, family tree. We're the cult, the cult of Bill Miller. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh my god. Um, actually, uh, we drank the Kool Aid. Yes. Yes, baby. Drank, <laughs> drank that Millerian Kool Aid. Um, I think at, at some point too, uh, you know, Bill Miller has written into the show, you know, via typewriter and U.S. mail a couple of times. Uh, we should definitely take a look at that. But I think the format for tonight's show, it's gonna be loose. It's gonna be cool. We got Tony here. Um, if you guys have any questions for uh, Tony, uh, feel free to drop them in the chat. Um, but you know, we're gonna look at some of your your rare obscure obscure work um the 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 other side of john tar um you've 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 sent in a couple of things to me um man what feels like a couple months ago now which just blew my mind and now here's the opportunity i'm so grateful to have you back on the show and we get to look at it so that's awesome but i wanted to ask you first tony what's it like now that you you were our first ever interview on the channel, if you haven't watched that, guys, you should go back and take a look at it. But what's it been like being part of the Power Comics family? Because you've you've seen a lot of these videos and what we do. What's what's that experience been like? It's been it's been really cool. Uh, I've really like like a lot of the other people you've interviewed. Like you, uh, I never knew anybody knew about my old stuff. So. Even though I've been drawing, I've been getting a lot of, I've had a lot of published work over the years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, most of my stuff, besides, I guess, the first issue, John Tar, that supposedly sold 25,000 copies, probably all my other work probably added up to, you know, a, a thousand copies, maybe. That's so, amazing. So, but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. You guys are doing God's work, man. <laughs> Whoa! God's work says. Can I, can I put that as like a pull quote on our website uh, yeah. <laughs> from yeah. Tony Lawrence? Uh, so uh, tell us uh, real quick, because you you always reach out to me. You wa I think you've watched every video we've done. That's like amazing. Thank you yeah. so much for yeah. yes, yeah, right. Amazing. I, I, well, there, there. You guys do a good job. You got it's making it <laughs> enjoyable. I can tell you like what what you're looking at and. Oh my Some God. of the stuff I like more than others, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, definitely, uh, it's a lot of fun watching them. That's oh. the point. I think that yeah. goes, that's, that's the same with all of us here. We're trying to suss it out. We're trying to yeah, know, figure it out as we go along here, but that's yeah. great to hear, man. We're huge fans. We love that you are a part of this community. It's amazing. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, and you know, the, the definition of power comics, I think is fluid. You know, and it changes, it ever evolves as we look into this. But I think that your work and <clears throat> John Tarr, of course, number one, you know, which we refer to many times on the show is the Citizen Kane of Power Comics, uh, I think, you know, is quintessential. Um, and uh, I guess that being said, we should just, you know, at least make reference to it. I mean, we've had we've talked about it ad nauseum here, so there's no need to go through it again. I'm sure everyone listening has a little bit of John Tarr fatigue, but <clears throat> we're here for some of your other work and i wanted to start with i think this is the very first thing that you that you published is that right yeah i'm i'm the king of the butter knife <laughs> <laughs> i'm oh. looking at both covers and i got the the, the the that's the common theme there 
The butter oh, swords? Yeah, yeah butter sword. dude. Oh, we love the butter swords. Uh, yeah. Man. Um, so no, it's, 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 it's fantastic. And I also love just like how these layouts look, you know, Mm -hmm. similar. I mean, the savage world, um, just like the title is amazing. Like that needs to be a t-shirt like pronto. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, so tell us a little bit about how first comics, you know, I mean, I mean, you've told me on the previous interview, but how did comics enter your life? I mean, when when was that? Like, when is this period Uh... we're talking about? Yeah, well, as far as when I started reading comics or drawing, yeah, reading, comics. drawing, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I think it was like ten. I uh, started, you know, reading comics. Um, I think I, I, I'm a big, huge George Perez fan. That's, oh yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, you were saying that. I, yeah, and uh, so like the, it seemed before I even knew a lot of the artists. Seems like and he was drawing everything back then when he, when I first started. Seems like every comic I bought, not that I knew at the time, was drawn by him. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so I kind of got into that, and more I got into that, the more I I wanted to draw, you know. And then I, you know, went from there. And, and I think I sent you the uh, um, the first two uh, comics that me and Len did. Who's the writer on? <laughs> Savage World, those uh, uh, Iron Fist. Oh, I don't think you did. What, uh, Tony? I, there's I, more. Yeah. Really? They were there. It, oh, oh, was... you did. You did. Yeah. Uh, let me grab it. You guys keep keep going. I think I do have. It. I totally forgot. Keep going. So we, and, you know, it was basically it was two comics drawn on typing paper. Yes. Uh, just one sided. It was two. Uh, um, 17 page stories so that was wow. our first try at it and it was a lot of swipes and you know like you know that was a definitely a burn i was uh oh yeah i recognize it yeah here it so, is uh, and, and how old were you at, that, when you were doing this what um, age are we here probably wow 14, 14 oh my god dude. this is so great tony oh my god so I mean, this is our first attempt, and and somewhere in between doing these two and then doing the uh, Savage World, somehow I I must have read somewhere, or figured out that you drew larger, and that <laughs> longer, so that you know. But this yeah, this was great. our first, uh, yeah, first go around. Wow, yeah. this is, man, yeah, we gotta we gotta ink this. <laughs> uh and captain negativity says what's what's it like looking back on your old stuff any trepidation and i know because it's, it's especially interesting because you are still making stuff and you've been very prolific um and i mean it must have been pretty jarring to just have this kind of yeah old work kind of bubble back up all these years later is what what, yeah, what are those yeah. what are those feelings like for you i mean i feel good about it i mean it's definitely uh some rough stuff, but, um, I mean, you, you start somewhere. I mean, yeah. You know, oh my God. You know, you know, you, nobody starts off as a uh, Picasso, you know, right. I wish I could draw like this. That's literally except for think. Picasso. That is that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he always drew like Picasso, <laughs> whether it was good or not. His early stuff, very early Picasso. Um, early yeah, early. I mean your stuff, your early stuff. I know. I, I mean, I can understand all the feelings you have looking back at yourself, but it's so, it's wow. so raw, dude. It's so That's great. pure, man. It's so fun seeing any young artist exploring their, yeah. just, just clearly being so excited about comics and drawing and all this stuff and putting it to paper. It's amazing, I mean, man. I mean, the biggest thing I'm happy about is that, you know, a lot of people don't complete their stuff. Amen. Right. Yeah. That I, you know, I followed it through and guilty. You know, whether it's good or not. Yeah, you're you know, looking at one. That's the that's one of the hardest things to do, actually. I think like, mm-hmm. see it all the way wow. through to the end. Yeah. And how yeah. many how many yeah. issues of Savage World did you do? Savage World? Uh if I published them all, five issues. Really? Okay. Woo! Oh my well, god. Well, you got all the pages, a hundred hundred and some pages. Oh, okay. So, so that's breaking down to five. There's five chapters. So, oh. Oh. oh, okay. 
So you guys, you heard that right. There are over a hundred pages of Savage yeah. World out oh, there yeah. right now. Yeah, we're we're, we're definitely going to look at, at at some of those here in a second. But yeah, just 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 call through call this. from Bill Miller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> call from Bill Miller. Shut up, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So Savage World. Um. Okay. So yeah. So we just looked at Iron Fist one and two. So these are you know you're 14 here right you said yeah yeah so that would like be that. what like 83 82 something like that yeah something like yeah. that eight no probably probably like 81 or something wow yeah. amazing Amazing. and wow. uh colin noseworthy asks uh who were some of the other influences after perez um i mean uh, john bashima uh, uh al williamson um mm. Just a lot of the classics, uh, uh, John and, Byrne, John Byrne early stuff. Oh yeah. And were you were you drawn to artists, or were you drawn to certain comics and the artists? You kind of realized who was doing them, or were you like, oh, this guy's amazing, I want to read his um, work? Uh, no, it was pretty much the art. That's um, really interesting. Yeah, that's yeah, really so interesting. Like, uh, that's how I, uh, not knowingly, was attracted to Perez. Mm -hmm. I, um, you know, I like the art, so I bought it or read it or whatever. And then yeah. later, as I, you know, became more familiar with, you know, the writers and artists and all that, it's like, hey, uh, every book I'm buying is by this artist. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's amazing. <laughs> Gravitating towards, yeah, like that the, yeah, the art so. you like. Um, what was it about George Perez that you were gravitating towards? I mean, he was just uh, his, uh, you know, a um, lot of energy, a lot of energy to his work, his detail, mm -hmm. um, you know, and he was a self-made artist, you know, he was, uh, um, so he was, you know, some of the classic artists, you know, they scoff at, you know, oh, he's just a comic artist. And, but uh, that's, I don't know, that's kind of, I, I was attract, attracted to his, you know, his uh, energy and, and detail. Mm -hmm. cool. So tell us, uh, uh, Savage World, how, so you were what, like, is it safe to say like 15 when you did Sa Savage World? It, yeah, probably life? about, you know, uh, probably 16 or so. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. That's yeah. crazy. So I think we should just take a quick, we should just take a breeze through the first issue here. Um, and then I, I pulled some, some selects from the, the hundred other pages that I have of Savage World other than right. this issue here. So we'll look at that. Right. But first and foremost, the cover is, like I said, it's, it, I mean, it's, it's fucking awesome. And, Incredible. Um, uh, yeah. yeah I, I'm still happy with that cover really. Oh, yeah. so good. Yeah. So good. Yeah, definitely. And, and just the title, this, this hand, hand drawn title here is so cool. And I love how it says, enter a world where politics mean nothing, a world where wizards and the churches reign supreme, a world where men live for the adventure. Welcome to the savage world. That's awesome. Yes. Um, Fantastic. Can't get so better. as we open this here, I'm just going to flip to my other view here so we can get the, the full spread. Uh, Jordan asks, uh, what is your origin story? Where did you grow up and when did you start Well, drawing comics? I guess you probably would have started what? Yeah. 11 12 yeah somewhere i mean everybody draws it all their life but that when yeah. i really that's into drawing probably yeah probably 11 12 somewhere around there wow uh, I, I mainly grew up in the seattle area mm -hmm. um, oh. i was born in england uh whoa I, I lived all over i got family all around the world whoa so it's um but yeah mainly seattle you know, and so, uh, and you know the actually the uh, the uh, the black guy, he's the, mm -hmm. the main character. Yeah, yeah. He, he's based off a, a Seattle SuperSonic player. Oh, really? Get out! Oh, oh. oh. that's amazing. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Slip Watts. Nice. Oh, yeah, wow. he was a he was a famous uh, famous player back in the day, and actually uh, Michael Jordan when he started wearing the headbands. He was inspired by because oh. he wore the headbands early on. So yeah, and this character's name is Eddie in here, right? Is that his name? <laughs> Eddie Slick Watts is, is actually the uh, 
right. basketball player's name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so Eddie in this comic, I mean, as yeah. we'll see in the second issue has an unbelievable origin story, which yeah. I love. And, and I did not see that coming in the yeah. Savage world universe, but first let's get to the most defining aspect of all power comics is the, um, the intro letter. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, Colin. Colin points out um, the water texture, which is yeah, awesome. Also, you also replicated that too in the John Tar issue number two that you drew that you have no memory of drawing, which I love. <laughs> part of the yeah. part of yeah. the story. Um, but anyway, okay, so yeah, yeah. You, uh, Hi, Savage fans. It says, which I guess that that's us, uh, the, just the three of us here. Uh, well, folks, we're that's finally about all here. I have. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it seems to take forever to get to, to Savage. Uh, seem to take forever to get Savage World printed, but we did it. Let me introduce the creators of Savage World. Let's start off with my good buddy Len Ackerman. Uh, so he wrote and co-created Savage World. And lastly, me, Tony Lorenz, artist and co-creator. So Len, is he like your high school buddy? Yeah, or? Yeah, yeah, he was my high school friend, and uh, you know, um, it, the story was kind of I, I can't kind of came up with it. Because I was at the time, I was big into uh, DC's Warlord and and Conan. So and then then Len came in with some ideas and and you know he wrote the wrote the dialogue and all that kind of stuff. Cool. So and we, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's it. Mm. Do you guys still keep in touch, or is he still around? Or um, you know what? Uh, like about. I hadn't talked to him in probably 20 years. And, and then about a couple years ago, he found me on Facebook and I, and we started talking, uh, and now he's disappeared again. So, oh care. no. <laughs> well, yeah. maybe he'll, he'll resurface well, after this. Um, yeah. Maybe we can, uh, dig him up again. Yeah. yeah. Um, so here you go on to say you began Savage world way back in June of 83. So that's, that's the timeline here, which is early for power comics. Um, yeah. We've both been working on it ever since, and we've both been having a great time doing it. So far, Savage World has grown to four complete chapters and totaling 110 pages so far. And that's no bullshit, because we have them here. Um, there are several reasons why Savage World has taken so long to get printed. So we, I have put many, many hours into the creation. I have, uh, you say, I have, I, I alone put in uh, 550 <laughs> plus hours drawing Savage Putin, World. Putin, Putin did it. Yeah, Putin, <laughs> Putin gets a shout out here. Uh, Tony is Putin. <laughs> uh, <Rooting. yeah. laughs> and here's the biggie money when savage world issue one was going to print it was originally going to be the first of three chapters instead of just the first two it was going to be 72 pages but when wow. i found out how much it would cost holy I shit if, uh, uh uh i lost where i was hold on um when i found out how much it was going to cost to be printed i i desi- i decided to break up issue number one by printing chapters one and two in the first issue chapter three and issue number two because i knew i couldn't get too many orders blah 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 um yeah and if you'd like to own a piece of original savage uh world art well i got a deal for you six dollars um Whoa. i will pay that if that's still uh, yeah <laughs> that's still, still on the stands. table yeah it. <laughs> yeah so um no this isn't a picture of, of len and, and tony this is uh the the characters eddie and uh jimmy right yeah. and as yeah. we know you're a giant jimmy hendrix fan and you spell jimmy uh, j-i-m-i in this uh, did I, comic, did I? I don't remember remember that. Yeah. Well, you Correct told way. <clears throat> So uh, awesome. We've seen you know that the splash page rules and that and the water here is awesome. And then we sort of open it up here to the two characters aboard the ship, um, you know, which is awesome. So so tell me about like drawing this. I mean, how how long did it take? And 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 when when were you? Um, yeah, like from uh-huh. what. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I don't remember exactly how long it took, but, um, uh, you know, I was drawing all the time. So, I mean, I probably, I probably three or four pages a week. Mm. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, probably more to... than that. Cause if I did 110, I think, uh, yeah, probably more than that. That's that's wild, Ben. How about this uh, this uh, power uh, control room here? I know that's amazing. That's perfect. Top ten. That's so great. This would definitely be on the top ten power power control rooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Fancy I'm, actually, 
I have to send you guys some money when I when we get off here. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> we're not not just because you're here. Yeah, no. when I saw this, when you when you this sent this to me, sick. I was like, awesome, yeah, awesome bridge. The 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 wolf Mike uh, uh, concurs. Um, Print and- uh, Print Hoffer wants to know: Did you ever table at a convention or at a comic shop? And if so, how did that go? No, no, not not with. I did that. Um, for years, I published a, 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 actually a George Perez magazine. Mm, oh, really? For Twenty years, like I a published. fanzine, right? Wait, yeah, yeah, for amazing. Twenty years. Actually, 20 years? Got, yeah, from uh, years. actually, actually, it just got canceled because of uh, from my printer. I, I go through Lulu, right? And uh, they sent me an uh, uh, an email saying that an issue I published in 2012 that may have violated copyright violation and canceled what? my canceled my account. So, so oh, all, damn. The issue, all the issues, the 18, 19 issues I had on there are gone. Oh, <laughs> what was it called? Tony pace setter, the George Perez magazine. That's right. Pace setter. Yeah. I think, did you send me, you sent me a few, right? I think I have some. I, I, I might've, I, think I can send you guys some if you want. Oh yeah, for sure. I'd love to see that. Uh, real quick, I I paused here because I I Sorry. just want to I no 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 I I just want to point out um that I believe the uh the sailors here um this is Eddie here uh they are detecting a Viking ship coming out of the fog, and I yep. absolutely fucking love how it's being depicted here. Um, it's so cool. Okay. As you stand alone, this is modern art. Like this, like, yeah. on its own. Sure. Yeah. It For really sure. is, right? Yeah. Such a such yeah. a fun idea. I love and, mysterious Viking ship coming out of the fog. Come on, yeah, come and, on. And you can't great. you can't go wrong with that. I know. You cannot. What, great setup. Uh, great, great. And this a, is an amazing. It's my go-to. Side <laughs> of my butter knife. <laughs> Your butter knife. Butter sword. Um, Just butter cutting sword. cutting through the fog with that butter sword. <laughs> yeah, that's what I should have done. <laughs> no, but this oh, is no. awesome. This is awesome, and um, uh, it, it it leads to truly one of the best splash pages in all of Savage World, in my opinion, oh. which is which is this right here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely, like you can hear the man of war starting. To yeah, exactly. Some some man of war shit going on here. Yeah, but I I just I love it, and I love how you're <sighs> you're depicting, you know, the guys coming out of the fog. Yes, you know, under rendered so behind what? the lines. Um, Brilliant. Jeff Miller, uh, who's our executive head researcher, um, <clears throat> he is asking, what was the print run of Savage World? Um, I printed 100 copies. Wow. Yeah, my uh, my dad paid for it. Oh, shout out cost to Hell yeah. Yeah, I think it cost 100 bucks. Nice. And I think I, I had like three ads in this comic buyer's guide. Wow. And I think I sold about eight copies. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's why the other issues never came out if you have like you know if you have yeah. like yeah 92 of them left i'm sure we can sell them yeah. tonight uh, yeah. tony, I know, tony, tony yeah. if you have any of them available they will fly off the shelf let me tell yeah. you I, I do yeah. have i probably have about uh, 30 copies Woo! you guys oh those you are heard gone. it here all right so if you want if you want some savage worlds tony how, how can they get them how can, how can they get people get them from you um if they want to, um, Facebook, yeah, Facebook, yeah. All right, Reach out so, to me on Facebook. All right, so I, I'll, I'll post Tony's Facebook uh, page on in the comments after we're off the air, obviously. So if you want to reach out and get a Savage World, I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, th- th- this is just you know it, it's it's an awesome, it's just everything we love. It's everything we love about. Oh, I love I, Tony. I love I, it's so. Your style is so confident. I know you're young and whatever, but like, there's no, there's like the young artist who's just like very scratchy. Every line is very insecure and like, you know, like a cloud of, you know, intention. And then, but then your stuff is so like deliberate. I love it. You have such a great style, man. Um, and to add on to that, to add on to that too is what something we've noticed going through so many power comics on this channel so far 
is that a lot of artists, including some who went on to draw John Tarr, totally, um, you know, uh, left out doing rendering the backgrounds and rendering mm -hmm. the locations. Mm -hmm. And you never chintz on the water and the location and the door and what's in the background exactly. and everything. Uh -huh. So you're you you know even though like the the style of this is so singular and that's why we love it. it you're you're never leaving anything like. You know, you're, you're never taking a break on on doing that, which I love. Yeah, I, I guess I'm probably subconsciously got that from George Perez. You yeah, know? sure, I'm Just sure. I mean, it's a so good lesson to be learned. Yeah. Totally. Oh, real quick before I scoot ahead here, just uh, yeah, this 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 panel is, is it, awesome. It's great. Love that bottom it's left panel too. That fucking silhouette. Yeah, that's brilliant. Really brilliant. It works it's really true. well. Uh, Tony, you've got like six copies already sold in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> you do. All right. I'm yeah. retired. <laughs> Charge a premium There's now. Six thousand dollars each. They should yeah. be. <laughs> <laughs> they should be. Totally. Yeah. So you just, just to buy. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. And then, um, yeah, this is great too. Here now. Uh, so this is this, this is Jimmy, right? I think so. Yeah. So this is Jimmy. Yeah. And Eddie, the two main characters yeah. now, are, are 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 locked up uh, in the in the ship here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, real down. quick, can you, can anyone yeah. hear my thirty five year old cat meowing at my door right now? Let me know if I need to put her Same. down. This, it's fine. Yeah, I think I think she's trying to get in to buy a copy of Savage. Yeah, <laughs> going oh, going oh, once, they going sell out. Guys, the cat alarm. Yes, this yes. is this is this is one of my favorite pages in all of power when i saw this it actually took my breath away guys oh i know exactly yes. oh, yeah. oh. tony dynamite that's tony. a shirt tony get that on a shirt so yeah. this is incredible but this too is mm. wow yeah. that's it's, really it's effective. perfectly exemplifies everything we love about your your stuff yeah. here totally yeah yep extreme detail oriented stuff and then just the like unbelievable i love the wood grain me too yes yeah perfect. <laughs> perfect. it's clear uh yeah. jim kelly asks do you still collaborate with current projects um yeah like i uh, like i was saying earlier uh i've got like uh actually i've got three three comics going or uh 18 page comic a 32 page comic wow a five page comic and Amazing. I also got an ongoing uh, web comic. You nice. do? Yeah. So, What's the web comic you do, Tony? Um, it's it actually hasn't been published yet. It hasn't been on, but I've done. I've had like three or four other ones that have been on. Mm. One wow. was a future of Tierra. Oh um, right. Yeah. Yeah. And Still waiting. I comic of that. And then I uh, definitely need some of those issues at some point mm -hmm. to find them. Is that <clears throat> is that future of Terra? Uh, posted on online somewhere the uh, covers are yeah. i think i think the covers you can get some of them on his facebook page you can see them yeah okay. I, i'm planning i'm planning i'm i'm planning to, uh to put all three of mine on my facebook page and other pages oh great mm -hmm. i'm having on different days hell yeah uh, monday a future otera a wednesday a sniper Ooh. uh Friday, uh, uh, Mr. White, and then uh, Saturday, uh, Enter the Center, the one I'm working on now. <laughs> oh my God, never, dude. Never stopping. Awesome. Never stopping. Yeah. Um, real quick, j just because we were saying uh, this, you know, is the best thing ever and t shirt worthy. Uh, <clears throat> Tony, I just wanted to put you on the spot right now and just ask yeah. if, it's if it's okay if we go ahead and make these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I want that it. That is man. amazing. Well, yeah. I just want to hit people in the chat. Would you buy one of those? Because I would, and I'd fucking wear it or all around town. Mm, How about yeah. that? I'd buy, oh, one. I'd buy one. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that is the shit. That is the um, shit. Yeah. Right, awesome. yep. yeah. Everyone's going crazy. They're yeah. all losing their shit over yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. So, um,. Anyway, let's let's well that that's it for Savage World number one. <clears throat> should we go into uh, Night Stalker or should we just go right into Savage World two? What do you guys think, Ben? Ooh, I guess that. Savage World two makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I'm already in the Savage World frame of mind. All right. Well, All right. Uh, but what are we talking about timeline wise? Where did uh, 
Did did, did Sta- Savage World imme- two immediately come after this one, or did or was uh, uh, Night, it's Night like Stalker? I, uh, well, like you said in the letter, I had already had four issues. Oh, that's right, yeah. right, 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 right. So, yeah. yeah. Um, Jordan asks, we're casually throwing around Hendrix, but who are Tony's ac- uh, actual musical influences? I mean, Jimi Hendrix, for sure. Uh, uh, I, I'm a big grunge guy. Uh, you know, Hell yes, Seattle. brother. Right. Yeah, uh, Mud Honey. Uh, oh, mm. hell yeah. yeah. That's a good one. They're one of the best ones, one of the better ones. They are. They are. They are. So what would you have been listening to while drawing Savage World? Um, well, that'd be in the early '80s, so yeah, um, probably the Police. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, cool, nice, cool. I love the Police, the best. Uh, um, Hendrix, of course. But... Awesome, that's great. Um, all right, so here we go. Big reveal for the epic. So now, now you sent me a hundred pages. Uh, that is the subsequent issues of Savage World. I didn't, I didn't print all of them because you scanned them for me, but I printed some of my favorites that we'll talk about. Um, but the cover to number two, guys, get a load of this. It's fucking awesome. Check it out. Number two. <laughs> oh, my God. If it couldn't get any cooler, there's a That's fucking great. druid cult uh yeah with a with with uh what looks like john tar crucified there on, on an x cross <laughs> love it <laughs> yeah on an x fucking x cross yeah <clears throat> so totally awesome amazing yeah, yeah that is a great cover it is it really is and um uh will eddie save jimmy from the giant hawk turn the page and find out as another exciting adventure unfolds so oh, that's I mean, crazy <laughs> <laughs> I know it's great. 1984. Giant here, hawk. Says, the giant hawk. I know. Here's the giant hawk. It's just it's great. So that's a that's a big sidewalk, Tony. You're making a big sidewalk there, bud. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah, that's um, space saver. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Exactly. Um, oh, and then check out the splash we get here, uh, marking chapter three of Savage World. Boom. Oh, so good. Oh my God, and that, dude. That's, Tony. And that's not uh that's not what you think hanging down there. <laughs> He's got a loincloth loin on. I didn't notice that when I first looked at it. Devil foreskin. Yeah. <laughs> Devil uh, penis. Yeah. <laughs> it says for the past hour and a half, these men have been engaged. Wow, that's all one word. Been engaged in a series of events that should only happen in nightmares, and they might begin to think it's in a dream until the bolted door crashes, uh, crashes outward to reveal a giant stand, a giant standing in the doorway. It sends them both spiraling back into reality. Hell yes, it does. So that's cool. I love this as a silhouette. It's just super trippy, right? Um. Print, Print Hoffer says, do you know other comic artists, pencilers, uh, while creating Savage World and Jontar? Was there anyone else making stuff that you were aware of, even in your own small little community? Or were you kind of in a, in a bubble here? In a small small press? Uh, or, yeah, or, or anything, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, Mike Grill, but as far as small press goes, I, I hadn't Wait. really got involved with it yet. You knew mm-hmm. Mike Grill? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know, but didn't know his work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, was, <laughs> I was into Warlord, but no. Uh, Love that early Mike Grell stuff. Yes. Yeah. So that, I, 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 that was a big influence on, you know, doing this type of comic. Yeah, it makes sense. Um. So here's a, so that this is page twenty one. <clears throat> it looks like is this page twenty one of all of Savage World? Yeah, yeah. Because okay, so like I, right. like I said, I was gonna do like a seventy-two page issue. Right. So Amazing. So okay, <clears throat> page twenty-one here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and then I, I jumped to page twenty-nine here. This one really jumped out at me. Oh wow! <laughs> um, Workout montage. Love it. Yeah, exactly. That is awesome. Yeah, he took personal interest in Jimmy, and by the end of the month, Jimmy was in the, was in the Coast Guard. Uh, off to boot camp, Jimmy and Eddie went. So then they're working out in boot camp. Love this floating head here. That is a, so great. Yeah, and it's like yeah, it's just all of them. I'm a master of an, I'm a master of anatomy. 
Yes, brother. <laughs> Dude, it's wicked anime. I love it. Like, you know what's interesting? Lorenzian. Like, Lorenzian, Lorenzian anatomy. anatomy. Exactly. Yeah. That's, very singular. that's the true anatomy. <laughs> when we <laughs> when we talk about um like stuff like this, you know, like like this stuff here, it's like yeah. we always find that the best power comics, like when we say it's modern art, like the best of power comics really looks like that Raymond Pettibone style, you know, which mm. he's doing very consciously. That's yeah. his style because he's a cool punk guy, you know. You're right. Um, but this is this is that, but unintentional, at least I think, and that's what's so cool yeah. about it, you know. Yeah, it's a punk, it's punk, still punk comics, dude. It is to totally. Um, after boot camp, Jimmy and Eddie were assigned to the Angola Three, so that's the ship they were on in the first issue. This is the backstory, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. Um, yeah, Tad I, says it, it has a very raw dog Mac feel which i yeah. totally agree with now that i look at totally. it it's very yeah. similar style it's Tony missing Art some of like the heavy black marks that yeah uh raw dog uses but but kind of a similar line work and similar energy style yeah exactly yeah tony are you familiar with the real deal series uh no i'm not oh, oh you oh, should check it, you oh. check it out it's there's back. a collection from fanographics if you oh, okay. you can find it in a bookstore i have it all right Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, I have it. It is awesome stuff. Call Tony, what, what size? What size are the originals of these? Are, are these eleven by seventeen or? Yeah, or, yeah, okay, eleven cool. by seventeen. Gotta show Dude. it. This is real. Gotta deal. show it. Yeah. Uh, this is an amazing uh, collection too. It's if, a really uh, good collection. Yeah, uh, great nobody collection. Nobody has this. I just thought I'd just give it a, a few seconds of airtime here but i mean this is yeah. power comics too almost. oh my sure, god sure yes. totally. kind of looks like ken landgraf or land uh, yeah dude, speak my language your language um yeah it's awesome stuff definitely oh, worth god. picking this up if you don't have it get it all now. right it's uh it's worth check it, it out <clears throat> okay so <clears throat> this is now page oh this is great i love mm. this Oh, oh my god yes yeah th this yes. is ben to me this is a ben room <laughs> it is you know yeah um single which I love. point perspective i love this man here a lot jealous of his hair. <laughs> oh. a lot of character in his face i know yes it's so good um <laughs> <laughs> yeah why you stupid uh twits what in the bloody hell are you trying to accomplish being the most stupid man on God's earth? Oh. <laughs> Just screaming at these guys. It's awesome. Love it. It's awesome. Um, and then here I have, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh wow. This I love because the skeleton, oh my God. skeleton man. Fighting animated skeletons. Exactly. It's got everything. This comic has it all. Oh, and man. this dance here too, this like kick stance. Oh yeah, that's kicking perfect. this giant skeleton. He looks For like my, yeah, he's definitely going. hurting the way he's kicking. He oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, Tony, did you did you see? Were, were you a fan of like the Ray Harryhausen Sinbad movies with the yeah yeah uh, my oh, skeleton yeah? yeah. That's what it, that's the vibe it's giving me right now. Golden yeah. Axe vibes, totally. Oh, <clears> for <throat> sure, Golden Axe, dude. Will Holloway says, see, kids, just do it. 30 years later, it'll pay off. That's true. <laughs> when you got a couple of <laughs> you got a couple of freakazoids here like us. Uh, yes, know. Clash of the Titans. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, oh, and more. This 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 here, though, I just Whoa. want to spotlight because of this. The head, the yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on? <laughs> yes, yes, I love that. Dude. I freaking yeah, 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 yeah. screamed when I saw that. That's so trippy. And yeah, because whenever we talk about the like Jodorowsky vibes and power comics. It's always the, we are, you are, you are, you are, you are, yeah. Yeah. And that is it. You know, that is some fine art right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Totally. This is, yeah. <laughs> I want all of these individual panels blown up to like six feet by six feet on my wall. Yeah. I know. If I had a mansion, it would just be giant Tony Lorenz prints <laughs> on my wall <laughs> in every room. Are we sure we were listening to the, to, uh, just the police when we were drawing this here. <laughs> this seems like Back pretty, pretty, pretty far out there, brother. Yeah, yeah backwards. <laughs> Listening for satanic messages while <laughs> drawing. Message, 
Message in a bottle, like at fifty percent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's amazing. Um, yeah, so Jason obviously, <laughs> great, great, great uh, panel there. Oh, guys, and then <clears throat> we get some. Uh, this is page fifty-three of Savage World. If you're keeping track, dude, track. unbelievable. Um, here's page fifty-five, which was a killer splash. Here, look at that. Wow. I love That's that. Eddie there. Jimmy I love Eddie's pages like this where it's just like I know. a lot of air and there's just some vignettes. And I know. Oh man, it's so good. I love it. It's fine art. Jimmy and Eddie spend the next three weeks in training learning the art of the sword. Eddie is taught the art of the ninja sword. Fuck yeah, he is. So, Dude, it's such a good page. Yeah. And there's another one that is here for, for Jimmy. So we get Jimmy's. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> so great <clears throat> yeah very cool uh, oh, but man. Jimmy on the other hand learns the art of the bow and the arrow as well as the axe their teacher is a bull of a man named Chuck O'Connor who is the late captain of the Californian guard but was rudely put uh, on prison island after talking too loud, too loud about the king during a night's drinking party so there you have it awesome mm. it. Um, okay so now I'm excited for this this is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna dig into this a little bit. Evan's been bored the whole time except for now. Now he's getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, Who's nodding over there? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the backstory of Eddie is uh, a really cool departure from this fantasy comic that we get <clears throat> here, which I love. Um. But uh, now we turn all thoughts to Eddie, who is wondering what the heck he is doing here. His thoughts slowly drift back to the days when he was a youngster living in the central district of Seattle, Washington. Um, his early years were happy, and he had the loving family until his dad lost his job. I love that now it's drama. We've gone from fantasy to drama. Eddie was a good kid, never getting in trouble and always getting good grades until that one fateful day. They said they were going on a cruise, but they forgot to come back. So, oh man! Um, oh my God! And then um, I, let, I just I just kept it going here because I'm I'm just loving the feeling of this comic, right? Yeah, yes, that's great. Yes. Uh, Eddie, yes. <clears throat> Eddie is left to his grandparents. From that day on, Eddie had to look like, uh, sorry, look at life from a different view. He had to leave his childhood behind him and grow up very quickly. Being an adult at 12 was not what he wanted, but from this day, it was him against the world, and Eddie was determined to win. Uh, by 14, Eddie knew the streets and was on them looking for kicks. His grades began to start slipping. This is an awesome panel. Um, then Eddie runs into Rodney, uh, Wa Rodney Wiles, Wills, Willis, uh, who was best friends when they were little, and now it was the same. The two of them joined a gang, the Hawks. <laughs> yes. I didn't picture there'd be like gang gangs in, yes. in Savage World, <laughs> but like it's Gritty. amazing. Yeah, gritty. It gets gritty. Yeah, Characters are deep. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, yeah, Hawks. Keep out if you value your life is what's written on the, the hideout there, which is awesome. Um, and then and then this is just fucking great. Yes. Um, Whoa. Yeah. Soon uh, they taking part in activities no supported by the school is what it says, <laughs> unfortunately. but Or fortunately. Fuck that. Um, and then, of course, a handful, <laughs> handful of joints. Uh, we got here for money. Uh, yeah, me. One night his gang got into a rumble that wasn't supposed to happen, but it did. The rumble didn't last long, but it was still a blood battle. And then this is awesome. Before the battle was finally over, there was one more casualty. Rodney. Rodney. Bam. Gets shot there. Shit. Ben, what do you make of this backstory here? This epic, awesome backstory. I love it. I mean, I feel like this could be its... Own, own graphic novel i know, you know it, yeah i totally it's agree amazing. i it's, love it it's, it's really compelling it's so good yeah eddie it's uh, it, it's a good. real de it's a, sorry just to add on it's it's a, like a real departure seeing you know tony do this kind of stuff because we're so used to i mean obviously like john tar is like an urban setting but it's got like a, a lot of fan fantasy elements you know mm -hmm. uh, yeah. but it's just cool to see like this street level <laughs> yeah, like inner city drama playing out. You know, it's just cool to see 
Tony style being applied to that kind of genre. Is totally. there are were there any uh, films or movies at this time that would have been uh, influencing you and your work or anything you were kind of into at that time in, in, in cinema? Uh, I, I, I can't think of anything really. That's fine. Make it up right now. Yeah, make it up. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm just seeing a lot. I'm just thinking about like gritty New York, you know. Yeah, there yeah. there 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 had to been, but I just I I off the top of my head I really can't think of any. And then uh and this is where this is the significance, guys, of the headband here. This is why we're we're going into this because just before <clears throat> Rodney died, he gives Eddie his headband. Eddie then shut mm. himself off from the rest of the world, didn't talk for days. I love that. And then Eddie's grandparents decided they'd move to get a fresh start to get out, uh, to get, uh, sorry, fresh start to forget about the past. They moved to Portland, Oregon. And then now this is him aboard the ship remembering all this, and then he's crying. So this is like heavy shit, uh, guys, yeah. um, which I love. Um, <clears throat> so that's page 60 of Savage World. Unbelievable, and man. I know. It's crazy. I know. And then... Um, Page 65 here, we get this. I had, wow. to, I had to showcase that. Oh, wow. Now we're getting into the real warlord. Yeah. Yes, dude. So, so like, yes, knowing, that that's, now, knowing that that's Eddie's backstory, you're like, fuck yeah. Like, yeah. I want to see, yeah. see him karate kick some animated skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> no doubt. You're you ready. Know, like, for sure. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Um... So that that's all I had for Savage World. So Savage World, Magnum Hell Opus. Hell yes, there. dude. Love it. It really gives me like 80s metal vibes, you know, like a vinyl, metal vinyl insert totally. cover yeah. page vibes, you know? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like, I, like to, I like to get this published all in one collection. Oh, brother. So do oh, we, we're, man. We're, yeah, so do we. So, you know, we definitely, definitely want to do it uh, 100%. Uh, cause it's just, it's, it's, it's really amazing. Very, very, like I, I had, you know, in prep for the show, I'd really gone in to, to look at all of the second issue or the, the second hundred pages you sent me. And I was like, wow, it's so much more there than, than the first uh, issue. You know, this, this covers so much more ground. It's, it's sweet. right. Yeah. It's an epic. It's, it's power uh, epic. unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's like the rhyme of the ancient Mariner of power comics. Um, <laughs> so, all right. Um, I also wanted to show uh, showcase another project that you did probably I think shortly there or a couple years after maybe um, or, or soon this, after. This is after John Tar. Oh, okay, okay. Mm, okay. So 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 John Tar. So maybe let's just like let's actually stick chronological if you don't mind. So you you you've talked on this channel before, but maybe just give the viewers who are watching this video for the first time just a quick overview on how you got involved in this, in, in John Tar? Well, as far as John Tar goes, I think, uh, I think I, uh, I think probably Bill Miller advertised in the comic buyer's guide. Right. And I probably, I probably sent him a copy of my Savage World. Oh, a sample. there you go. And, um, you know, of course he immediately jumped and said, I gotta have him, you know? Yeah, I would have. As the artist. Yeah. So then you guys correspond. Until I drew it. Yeah, that's that what that's what makes me even more annoyed with Bill Miller because he if he saw Savage World, then he knows what he's getting. And how is he going to be? It's this is the same quality, if not better quality, than Savage World. So what the hell is wrong with this guy? Yeah. Well, we're about to find out because um, <laughs> what I have here is so just j just to paraphrase. To keep the story moving here, you guys corresponded um, uh, through letters. He hired you to do John Tar One. You, you did yeah. it, and I mean, maybe you were just drawing it because it's it, it, it's it's an opportunity. But All also, right. I mean, the story is absolutely insane. For anyone that doesn't know, you know, he is a male stripper, <laughs> uh, garbage, garbage man. man, garbage man, male stripper. That um, it's so amazing that gets it's killed trying to defend his uh, in the severely closeted gym owner. And then he gets reborn as a elven street barbarian with a butter sword, which is awesome. Um, 
so it's incredible singular vision from Bill Miller, but then he 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 supposedly looks at your art and he doesn't want you back, which is a travesty. Um, and you've been kind of wondering, I think, for what thirty years plus, yeah. what the story is. Yeah. So yeah, cause, cause I, I, have... drew this, I drew the second issue and oh wait, sorry, my my fucking food's here. You guys keep going, Tony. <laughs> no, uh, no, I drew the second issue and and I in between that I got fired. Uh, Right, and thank God you, you kept that because we have it now, and it's it's amazing. Yeah. Did, did you um, send in the pages for the second issue, or you you were hanging no, on to that? No, no, I, I actually uh, uh, Evans got the original art. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So for all, so he had the yeah, first in... issue I did send in, and uh, because you know there was a lot of things I you know. Totally inexperienced, so a lot of it could have been on me too. Uh, but I, I guess the printer had to cut up all my artwork. To oh, right, print. right, right. So it cost him more money to for production. Mm. So that might have it. That might have irritated him. I don't know. Okay, so Tony, <laughs> as the the artist who had to kind of parse out this insane story, what? How do you feel about the? rebirth of John Tar and John Tar returns where he's essentially this whole backstory of him being a garbage man male stripper whatever is basically left in the dust do you feel like this other artist you know our other power player here got it easy do you think do you think what what do you feel about this transition here yeah you know i mean it is what it is uh, mm -hmm. you know i I, you know, I guess he would, I guess probably he was trying to reinvent it to maybe try and make it popular again or more popular. Uh, yeah. Trying For to, sure. you know, but yeah, no, nah, I don't, I don't have any ill feelings or. I mean, my favorite. That, that you might have comments. dodged a bullet with that one. I don't know. Yeah, um, I think so. But I heard you guys when I was getting my food order in, I heard you guys talking mm -hmm. about um, original art. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I just want to just quickly show that, you know, you sent into the power archives here, the, uh, you know, which we have a whole video dedicated to is the, oops, sorry, it's beard backwards. Here is the full original art for your unpublished version of John Tar 2. Sorry, I'm doing a really bad job at this, but I have, I have lovingly put it in this, in this full uh, binder here. So it can be appreciated uh, by those uh, who want to see it. But yeah, it's, it's absolutely tremendous. And, uh, this has never seen the light of day, really, until now. <clears throat> but do you mind, do you mind also showing us your Arby's order that you just got delivered? Yeah, <laughs> your Arby's order. Uh, but you've been you've been wanting to know what the story is of Bill. Curly we fries. all do too. Oh, oh, I would take some curly fries right now. Actually, this art yeah, is very brother. like, you know, is very motive like curly fry oriented. I feel like. Um. <laughs> anyway, so I have guys. I had the secret documents, the, the secret Bill, Bill oh, Miller files. Yeah, it's got to show the secret Bill Miller files. Declassified. Um, de we're gonna we're gonna unseal All the Bill blacked Miller out. files. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of redacted information in here. Um, so uh, I'm sure those who are watching know this, but you know Bill Bill Miller. We've tried to get him on the show. He doesn't have a cell phone. He doesn't have a computer. So um, he has a landline. So I was like, maybe we could do an audio interview with you. Get your you know your, your side of the John Tar thing. Um, but he, he wasn't comfortable with that, and he wanted me to send in questions, which I mailed to him by U.S. Mail, and then he returned the answer several months later to me, um, typewritten. So you can see this is actually written on the typewriter, and I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's the same typewriter he used to write John Tarr in 1986. So I asked him a question, because I know you wanted to know. So uh, I asked him, how was your collaboration uh, with Tony Lorenz? And uh, should I should I read? Should I read? Mm, yes. Okay. Let's see. All right. Page nineteen. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let me get my eyes out here. Um, okay, so uh, and I think we should get an actor to play 
Bill Miller to 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 do the full interview. I think that's yes. a brilliant idea that Gabe you had. So we we're looking for actors. If you're out there, um, we got we're we're gonna hire you. All right. So it says uh, <clears throat> I placed an ad for artists in a fanzine when I was still thinking about publishing Lawmaster. That's when he was so Lawmaster was actually his original idea for John Tarr, um, which never shows up in the series, but it's a character that he wanted to do, and then John the idea for John Tarr eclipsed that, but. So he was um, uh, Tony Lorenz from Tampa, Florida. Is that true? Are you from Tampa? No, no. He was I, I, <laughs> so no. first lie, first lie. No, I'm just kidding. No, um, I live in Tampa. I, I, I must have just moved here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To right, all right. To oh, Tampa. okay. Yeah. Um, see, okay, so uh, Tony Lorenz from Tampa, Florida, sent me a sample story that had an urban setting. Wonder what that would have been. Savage World. Yeah. I don't Lies, lies. I mean, it must have been. I'm, I'm thinking it was Savage World. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, and, uh, and I thought it would look great in John Tar, so I got him started on that. Tony was fast and enthusiastic. <laughs> I think it was his idea to put the assassin on page one in a skin tight costume. <laughs> True. Is that is that your idea? Truly, the hardest the hardest thing to ever draw is the beginning of this comic. Yeah. Super difficult. Yeah, we actually talked about that on our last videos of like, you have to, even, at, you know, you're 16 or whatever, you know, I can't imagine being 16 and having to draw a guy who's a sniper looking through a scope, trying to assassinate somebody, but then an elf appears. And, and another then, sniper is also sniping the same target and missing right. because an elf, it's the most mental thing I've ever <laughs> could Tony, possibly think of. Tony, when I when we first talked, you kind of felt like, you were hard on yourself because you didn't get this right. And I was like, dude, I don't know anyone that could have figured done this. <laughs> like it's so hard. Yeah. You know, this is so, its own comic in itself. That like first yeah. page of this. Yeah. Um, so I'm still, still learning my storytelling and all that. So, but oh, so is Bill. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Seriously. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. So you, you're right. You had the skin tight costume idea. What I didn't like, uh oh, was how he had the elf. Okay, this is Bill Miller here. What I didn't like <laughs> was how he had the elf facing the penthouse and speaking to the man inside. Okay. 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 Love that panel. I'm just going to yeah. throw out <clears throat> love that panel. The elf was supposed to face the assassin who would panic and shoot the elf in the front, not the back. That wouldn't have cleared anything up. I'm sorry. That's the complaint. Yeah. <laughs> <What? laughs> Arguably, so much more confusing because yeah. that would make it seem like it's the target. <laughs> right. Yes. Bill. Don't, don't, true. True. Very true. Uh, so why? Okay. So then here we go. Here we go. Little 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 power humble here coming. So why didn't I ask Tony to redraw it? This is going to make me sound stupid, but I didn't <laughs> notice it until after it was published. I was so excited that we were publishing a book that I failed to be a good editor. So, All right. wow, you guys are both extremely hard on yourselves. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, and then, and then he goes on to, for more, more here. He says, the elf was also too tall. <laughs> this is this is my fault. He says, this is my fault because in my script I did not specify height. I wasn't aware that elves in the fantasy genre can be. As tall as humans, uh, Ben, Mister D and D Wizard, is that is that accurate, or can you please? Elves like Lord and, of the Rings, baby. Elves in D and D are pretty short. Okay. The right. original D and D, yeah, they're like, you know, three quarters the height of average uh, but humans. I think it's like very, you know, it says a lot about the the creator when these are the house like singular yeah. and specific. That he's honing in on these are the most important details. The height of an yeah. elf, the direction that right. it's facing. You know, mm-hmm. <clears throat> not like, okay, we got a garbage man stripper here and uh you know. Right. Um <clears throat> which is awesome. Not not throwing shade on that. Um No. I I thought okay, so uh I wasn't aware that elves in the fantasy genre can be as tall as humans. I thought elves were were all small. Uh like Keebler cookie elves or the elves who make <laughs> toys for Christmas. <laughs> I think it's thinking of gnomes, <clears throat> which I had, which I, which I, I had in mind. 
Uh, again, I decided not to ask Tony to redraw it. I thought I would just explain in a future issue why some elves were tall and some were short. And that doesn't <laughs> oh sound like God, Power Bill. Comics to y'all. I mean, he's the Orson Welles of, of Power Comics. Um, really, <laughs> it's perfect. I think that be I, I think that became part of the story in issue three. <laughs> so, oh uh, which we still have to cover, which I, I love issue three, by the way. The two other complaints. Uh oh, sorry, sorry, Tony. I had but kept to myself. Okay, was Tony lettered the name on the gym as Dolph's gym? How are these his? Oh my god! I, I, I'm Bill. just. I don't know. I I don't know. When the script said it was Emerson's gymnasium. <laughs> <laughs> Critical which is his movie. last isn't that his last name isn't that his last yeah, name yeah Dolph Emerson? it is yep i mean come on I, I don't know how i screwed that up but i guess i did no come on um, shame on you tony yeah, yeah. Dolph, dolph's gym is so much way better. easier to read in a panel than emerson's yes. gymnasium yeah <laughs> or yeah you're probably yeah. like how many letters is that um yeah uh, and the logo, the, the the logo of the gym is just it's amazing. I love it. It's like a uh, splat on a wall. Uh, exactly. I love it. Golf I love it. I've always I've always loved it. I've always loved it. Um okay, where am I? Dolchek talking on a dick ch- okay, yeah, hold on. This is another one, another small complaint here. This one, oh, this God. one is also also this is very crazy. Specific. God, this comic rules. You guys, I love how we're going rules. through your complaints. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. This is the this is the page. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a perfect comic. So, um, he drew John Tar's part on the left side and not the right. <laughs> yeah, the phone cord was supposed to be facing to the north yeah, side. Exactly. Um, okay. Um, number two, Dolchek talking on a Dick Tracy wrist radio. When the script said for him to use a radio either from a squad car or a walkie-talkie. I know this was a comic book full of far-fetched ideas. No shit. Uh, but, I want, but I wanted some reality in it. Remember, mobile phones with cameras were still science fiction in 1985. So this was too far out for Bill. The, the talking wrist watch. Um, Tony, your response? Do, do, do you care to comment? I, I, don't know how I, screwed, I don't know how I screwed that up. <laughs> it's I, not your fault. It's great. I it, the fifth. it gives it gives Dolph, sorry, not Dolph, it gives Dolchek some extra, you know, something. You know, it, it, I think it shines him up a little bit. Um, yeah. And then uh, Tony so, wasn't... So, I mean, sp- did he wanted him to, like, have a squad car walkie-talkie in his hand while he's at the the bar just like on a long wire what did he think what was he thinking a walkie talkie really doesn't make any sense oh bill i love you bill <clears throat> yeah i mean we do we do i'm I, i'm not trying to throw shade here but um uh, yes, tony <laughs> i'm just i'm sticking up for my man my boy uh yeah, tony tony wasn't as fast with the second issue um tony uh and we were about to miss the deadline is this true or is this is this a power power fiction here um I, I don't. I, I don't. Oh, well, you don't remember drawings. drawing it, so you don't remember I don't even remember drawing, drawing it. Second issue. <laughs> so I, 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 I can't argue with him. So you were, you, you were, you were tripping in the savage world, I think. Um, yeah, must have. And we're about to miss the deadline we had with our printer and our and our distributors. We finally got the cover and some of the art, but this time there were too many things wrong, and the style didn't seem to fit the story. It was nothing personal, but we had to let him go. So there you go. There is the, there is the Bill Short Miller version of the story here. And I think, I think it, I think it, because we have you here, it, it, it begs, you know, we should also talk about how in issue two of John Tar, didn't they, didn't he publish all this negativity uh, about you as well? And, and that was what, that, that, well, you, that was hard, wasn't actually, it? You know, it's, it was kind of funny when I'm, when I first moved to Florida, I had, saw John Tar number two on sale at a comic shop and I bought it and pretty much every letter in, in, in the issue was all get another artist, you know, uh, give up, you know, looking at Frank Miller art, which I wasn't even really a big Frank Miller fan. And, uh, you that's know, like, and, the, that's like telling a, uh, 
that's like telling a independent filmmaker like like you know you you got to be like steven spielberg you know it's like it's so just the wrong i don't know yeah it's like yeah my skin was a lot thinner back then i almost right. was like gonna like no oh, i'm giving up throw up throw up the flag i'm done drawing Oh, Hell so no! Glad you yeah, didn't. So, I glad you didn't. so glad you didn't. Because then you know we got we got treated to something totally uh, freaking awesome after John Tar won. So screw John Tar. Um, <laughs> that's actually my only copy. Um, no, uh, and because uh, uh, you went on to draw something wicked, which you sent me, and my jaw came unhinged and fell on the ground when I saw it because it was so fucking cool was night stalker yeah yeah and so tell us tell us the tell us the backstory on night stalker well i i I think i think i was going to publish it myself as a fanzine Mm -hmm. you know uh, like because each each chapter i think i did i don't know five or six chapters eight pages long and uh, i think i was going to put as a mini comic you know a digest comic Mm, either cool. that or I was going to uh, either submit it to an, one of the fanzines. Um, I, but for some reason, I, I never did. <clears throat> um, I noticed a comment uh, from Jim Kelly here <clears throat> who says, did you did Bill seem like an eccentric guy when you met him? Tony and Bill never met. They corresponded uh-huh. like we did just now over typewritten letters and secret documents with redacted information. Right. So, um yeah. That was it, right? Which is such an odd way, yeah. I mean, to create, to collaborate. I mean, but that's what people had to do back then. It's yeah, it's back kind then. Of, yeah. I mean, we have to pay. Like, I'd have to pay a long distance phone call back then. Now you can oh just my God. Put a cell phone call anywhere. You know, you can't do that when you're 16 too. It's a bit harder. No, I don't <clears> pay any bills. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, Night Stalker, I believe, is eight, this is 86. So this is within months of of John Tar. Yeah, this is yeah. Right. I, I started right after. Uh, yeah, right after uh, John Tar. So let's take a quick look Dude. at this. I, I I I printed off the first seven pages of just the first one. This is like a serial, pretty much here. Um, if you didn't look up into the sky, you would think uh, it was a night like any other night. But if you didn't look up, you know different. Uh, a mysterious caped hero swings among the skyscrapers of Seattle. He is not known yet. This is his first night on the prowl. But in a very short time, the people of Seattle will know his eerie name, Night Stalker. Um, uh, Tad, literally, I was thinking the exact same thing about to say it. He, Tad says, I love your lettering, Tony. It's true. I love your lettering. It's amazing. You're, you're, that's, you, yeah. we need that font. Do we have that font? No, yeah. we need that Co- font. Colin, Colin, if you're still here in the chat, you got another font assignment, uh, coming your yes, way. Yes, dude. <laughs> get, get the Lorenz font in for us, man. Yeah, this is, this, it's I so mean, this, good. this looks uh, like, um, you guys are too kind. <laughs> Well, it looks like Tim, our friend from high school, this, f- for sure. It's great, dude. It's yeah. awesome. And it looks like uh, Pet- Pettibone. It really does. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <clears throat> Calling all cars near Pike Street, there is a robbery in progress at the Savage Land comic store. Okay, Tony. Oh, boy. This is your first action. Let's see. So then you're naming yourself as Night Stalker as Tony. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see if all of that training pays off. So, and then we see here some action of dude. him. Hell yes. Leaping from the rooftops which is awesome. Oops, sorry. This is falling. Sorry. Uh, until he's on the rooftop of the opposite of the comic store, Savage Land. Ben, how are you feeling about, about Night Stalker? I love it. I mean, it's really exciting. It's cool to see, like, you know, Tony doing some straight-up superhero stuff mm-hmm. here. You know, it's like Batman-esque, Moon Knight-esque, you know, Swing it oh, very moon tops. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's cool. It's the uh, you know Dude, this uh, I love seeing all these different genres being you know tackled by Tony. And this is the interior. Yeah. yeah, I love it's that amazing. interior. Great comic store. Was this based yeah. on a real comic store in, in town? <clears throat> What's that? Um no, no. Okay. There's and somebody asked uh Jeff Miller asked, is that screen tone that you're using here? Uh, yeah, yeah, Alex. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. Cut. I cut and paste. Cut, cut and paste on it. Nice. Awesome. Super cool. The real way. 
So the comic store is getting robbed. I like the new way now. <laughs> yeah, the new way is <laughs> way easier. Much easier. <clears throat> As the robber continues to cap to terrorize his cap his capture, Night Stalker swings closer. Closer, closer, and then toosh, closer. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. It's just great stuff. <clears throat> eh? Eh? Um for a long moment, he stares into the robber's eyes like a snake freezing the robber motionless. Did you write this too? Or is this your... your yeah, opinion? I wrote it. It's one of the few things that I write. I, I don't really do much writing. Uh, what was the character inspiration for Night Stalker? Did you have a couple? Yeah, it was probably Moonlight. or Yeah, Moonlight, yeah. Moonlight. Moonlight. Moon Knight, <laughs> probably, probably a little Batman. You know. Right. Then you called it for sure. So then I just I just quickly added just here a couple different pages of uh, just from the other Night Stalker series here that I thought were just, you know, worth worth showing. Uh, this is a cool here too. what a night Night Stalker thinks to himself from that from the neck down. He is cut and bruised. Every move he makes hurts. Not exactly a successful first night. Is that a Jimi Hendrix? Uh, he's got a Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, there? he's all over. <laughs> yeah, 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 in my that. artwork, you'll see him all over the place. That's awesome. Yes, dude. Yeah. Yeah. And the, oh, this th this page I liked a lot too. Oh. Uh, the guy standing up. Love that shot. Wanting to love kill. the black ceiling, dude. That's yeah. great. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. So, um, all right, that that's Night Stalker, and then I just have a few. I know we're we're running long here, but I have a few. Uh, I, I actually forgot. I just have a few Savage World things I wanted to show uh, that I, I have digitally here that are pencils. Because you didn't finish mm, the end, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I, I actually, uh, those pages, uh, uh, my my friend uh, quit writing it, and I, I wrote oh. those pages. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. wow. Wow. So here's uh, Chapter 5, Pencils. Of, Whoa! Uh, Those pencils are really shit. tight. Yeah, that's oh, insane. Yeah. And that's page you can see in the corner, one hundred and eleven. Just if you guys are keeping uh, track there on Savage World, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the discipline that you have to to do all this is just insane. Um, but I love it. And then this one I particularly like too. Of, oh, cool. <clears throat> yeah, just this like this like barroom brawl, I guess is what it is. Or yeah, it was, uh, that page I don't think was finished. Yeah, and a lot of the background, a lot of it was uh, you know uh, rough. So I think that was probably the last page. It's cool. Wow, maybe. it's really really cool. And then of course <clears throat> this 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 really this was the last thing you included in the Savage World package of files you sent me. And this really speaks to power creator to me. Uh, to me is uh, the map of the world. Oh, oh my nice. God! Yes, dude. Um, I gotta yeah. squint here to read it, but it's worth reading. Hello, folks. We're back again, and we got more of the continuing adventures of Jimmy and Eddie in Savage World. Len and I hope you enjoyed this issue as much as uh, as much or better than the first issue. We both can't wait to get your comments and suggestions. So come on and send them in one or send them in once again. If you want to repay, enclose a SASC. What is self addressed stamp envelope. Okay. That's you don't, they don't say that anymore. We don't say that <laughs> yeah, anymore. I was going to say, uh, oh, man, send me that sassy. Give me that sassy, man. Um, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> future plans uh, in store for Savage World. Well, Len really hasn't had the time while he was at boot camp. So he went to boot oh, camp. Boy. Yeah. That's a little power okay. insight there. Um, mm -hmm. To write, but now he's out and he's raring to go. <laughs> it's all <laughs> plotted and we're both basically, and we both basically know what the story is going to be about. So watch out uh, world before, watch out world before long issue three will be out. Uh, Len did manage to write uh, stories on the plane back to Seattle, which I will do on, I will do the art. It'll be called Tales of the Savage World. 
Uh, and nice. it will uh, not have Jimmy or Eddie in, an e- in either story. So it's a total side quest. Mm. That is all I can tell you about Mum's the Word. But I will tell you it's going to be good. That's all for now. Uh, let you get to the story. Thanks. Tony Lorenz, Auburn, Washington. <clears throat> we got a bunch of a bunch of fans in the chat here who are who are itching to do a, some sort of ink off with some of these pen, these Tony pencil drawings. Maybe. Oh, we should have a power contest. Yes, post the yeah. scan and the you know and get people to oh, ink some of this stuff, idea. man. That's a good idea. Maybe we should do a power Great contest idea. and. You know, we, we can definitely we can definitely figure out a, a, a sweet prize for that. Definitely a Savage World issue for sure. If, oh if Tony if Tony sold out by Sunday afternoon, then we definitely yeah, he will be he will be. <laughs> he will be he will be he will be. Um, <laughs> so I think that's all that I have. Um, even though I just want to show this one more time. Um, yes, uh, it's happening, yes. you guys. Fuck yes, uh, yeah. gotta have it. Everybody wants one now. Perfect. That's for sure. Um, but Tony, that was a blast. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Looking at the Tony Lorenz files here on Power Comics. The um, king. That the was king of Power the Comics, king. man. Yes, the king. Truly, truly Tony, if, if you think about it, yours was the the art that really sucked us in. Yes. Pulling out John Tarr and just being like, what? And then <laughs> it, it started everything, dude. Because nothing looks like that. I mean, you know, you, you know, you, you guys were making that stuff back in the sassy world and the SASE mm-hmm. world, and yeah. <clears throat> and you know, for us, with like just decades later of seeing how what comics became this homogenized digital nightmare that it became, mm-hmm. and then when you you know stumble into a store and you pull out John Tar, it doesn't look like anything else. You've pulled out a bygone era, dreams of another time, you know, and that's just what's so yeah, cool about exactly, it. yeah. It was definitely a lot of fun. It was a learning and start of my drawing adventures. You know? Yeah. And so, are, Tony, are you still are you working digitally now, or are you still no pen I, and I, paper? I mean, the only digital stuff I do is like the the toning and things like mm-hmm. that. Right. Everything else is uh, it's all old school. Hell Actually, yeah. you just reminded me, and I was I was gonna about to be a power schmuck here for not uh, remembering. But do you have some things that uh, you want to just quickly show us that you've been working on um, now? Sure. Oh yeah, yeah, hell yes, dude. Hang on, let me yeah. let me let me resize your cam here so um, the 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 power appreciators here um, uh, can can see it. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah, I did. I'm just gonna put them. I'm gonna put them big here. There it is. Yeah. Come on. Perfect. I'm gonna put them big. Oh, I know what I'm doing, Ben. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can tell. Good. As we wait for the master to return, um, <clears throat> did everybody love the like the show tonight? <clears throat> yeah, you guys. <clears throat> it's pretty positive. Seems like some positive feedback. Um, posy vibes. Yeah, posy vibes. Um, yeah, thank you, Tony. It's so cool to see this. We appreciate it very much. Yeah, a lot of awesome work. Goddamn log loves it. You guys better you better get your 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 uh, savage rolled ishes soon because I yeah I honestly might buy like five of my own. I already have one, but I, I want to hoard have them. Five of my own. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a hoarder. I'm not a scalper. I'm just a hoarder of well, of just Lorenz. You know, in case something happens, you never know. Like the world goes, you know, something happens. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yes, it is good to see Ben's cam and internet working. I don't know what was going on. Yeah, Tuesday. I don't know what was what was happening, but yeah, <laughs> glad to have crazy. my inter- my. I think the internet here just is kind of unreliable. It in seems some good regards. tonight. It's, it's good tonight. It's good tonight. Yeah, it's just yeah. kind of mm-hmm. wonky sometimes. Definitely. You know? And I think my my microphone isn't as over distorted as it was on Tuesday. Like we had, we had a couple uh, power power failures um, on Tuesday. Yeah. I guess I mean, ben, you, you did. You did tell us you were downloading the first twelve seasons of Jerry Springer, though, while we were right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, while probably, wait- that probably interfered with it. <laughs> while we're waiting for Tony, just real quick, I do want to. This is a perfect opportunity to mention that um, Tuesday, uh, eight p.m. Eastern, here on the YouTube channel, guys. You have voted and you have voiced your opinion, and uh, Hell for Leather is going to be the next live show that we do covering another scratchy angsty oversized power comic um and this one is canadian so look out 
because uh, that's it's going to get weird for there. Um, so hell for leather next Tuesday. You Put guys. your calendars and guys. Set your eye cows. Yeah. That's my birthday. Oh, it's a birthday yeah, episode. That's right. It's our birthday episode, you guys. Are, are we oh. actually doing it? Are, are we doing it on Hell your birthday? Hell fucking yeah, we're doing okay. it, man. It's a birthday <laughs> episode. Gabe Deichel, Gabian, uh, will be here on his birthday to talk about Hell for Leather. Sweet 16, guys. <laughs> yeah. So make sure to uh, check us out on Tuesday, 8 p.m. Sorry, I had to get that plug in. Okay, Tony, show us some crazy shit, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, actually, this was just published. Jim Main. Whoa. It's, oh, right. it's like a mirror. Right. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh. Let's do that. Um, look, I look did, it up. Uh... So this is this is this is a recent uh a recent Yeah, th- th- this just came out. I did a like a five page story. Oh Whoa. that's looking great. Cool. Still got wow. Uh, it's amazing to I that's clearly Tony Lorenz though. That's what's so yeah. cool about like this. Like refined, yeah. refined Tony Tony Lorenz, but not and, then, yeah. and this is uh this is page one of the stories I'm working on. Oh, hold it back. Cool. Pull, it. pull it back, yeah. yeah pull it back. Let's get a right. wide shot of that. And then over go to you yeah. over this way. Other way. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Wrong way. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Looks cool. Oh my God! Looks cool. Yeah. That's and great. There's another page from the story. Wow! Looks cool. It's a western, right? Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's wow. it, it gets a little weird at the end. It's not like a traditional western, I guess. Mm-hmm. But um, and then um, here's a few of my uh. Oh yes, Tad. There certainly are. There certainly yeah, are lots of great sure. Canadian power comics for sure. Never stop. Will Holloway says, "Never stop, Tony." Yeah, he never and, did, uh, dude. He uh, never did. I was talking about the web comic I'm working on. Here's yes. Uh, oh, it's oh, like I a got strip. Some inking here. Nice. Yeah. Love that for nice. That looks great. Whoa. Wow. Down a little bit. Is it Whoa. Oh, whoa. Wow. Honeywell. Oh, my God. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. That's really great. Too. Great style, man. So this is a web comic. This is this is up right now, or it will be? No, it will be up. Okay, it great. It will be, yeah. I'm, I'm about uh, 35 strips in. Mm, wow. Okay. And I think the strip, uh, it'll be probably a 52, pay, 52 strip one year storyline. Wow. I think... I think we have to get uh, we we got to get Tony set up on Patreon. I think. I think that's the move, man. Yeah, I think a, that's a yeah, really yeah. good idea. For sure, yeah. For sure. Am I uh, technical enough to? You know, Patreon. <clears throat> Yo, yeah, we can we can help you figure it out for sure. sure. Yeah. It's, it's it's easy. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the way to do it for sure. For sure, I'm sure some power some power power the power community would sub to a uh, to a Tony Lorenz Patreon and get the web comics that way for sure. Hell yes, brother. <clears throat> yeah, totally. I um, mean, everyone that's... in the chat is super excited for all this. They're all itching. They're itching. They're itching go. for those comments, man. They've got creams for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Cream called Tony Lorenz, baby. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to show us? Uh, uh that's pretty that's much. Got? Uh, uh, got... That's Sweet. a lot. To get him out. <laughs> was a good I mean, more, I got, um, no, I'm just kidding. I <laughs> know, Evan. <laughs> what yeah. else? You know, some of the other stories are, are like in, uh, I'm in, you oh, probably cool. can't see oh, them. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're, yeah, yeah. It's they're very light. Yeah. They're that's not cool. Fully developed. But, wow. But yeah, it's, um, I, 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 enjoy, I enjoy what I do. That's great. Thankfully, oh I got a job that pays very well that I, can do it nice that's awesome yeah. that's awesome yeah <clears throat> well that about wraps it up for the tony lorenz super special the, the feature length tony lorenz super super pay-per-view special spectacular thank you Amazing. so much uh tony for uh hanging with us for an hour and a half guys going thanks for having me so yeah. much fun going through this thanks awesome power people yeah <laughs> power to thanks the people, power guys. yep 
And obviously, open door invite. Any any times you wanna you wanna read some more Bill Miller, you probably don't. Uh, but uh, interview <laughs> segments, <clears throat> <laughs> or if you wanna you wanna join us on looking through a John Tar issue, a random one, that would be fun. Um, but uh, yeah, it was great to have you, Tony. Awesome to see your stuff. And um, I'm gonna post uh, the link to your Facebook page right as soon as the stream ends in the comments. Mm-hmm. So re- refresh refresh the video. And then Tony, you bet you gotta you gotta watch out for your friend requests because people are gonna be at you to uh, be blown up. Be yeah. blown up. That's cool. So yeah. does that sound good? That sounds great. That sounds Amazing. Great. Thanks All everyone. Right. Thank you guys so much uh, for joining us. And don't forget Tuesday, uh, we'll be back here live with Hell for Leather for Gabian's birthday. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> birthday let's stream. get those let's get those youtube subscriptions up there we want to do a live oh, episode right. with you guys really bad uh yeah, gabe, can't wait gotta, for that you got you got gabe you got to get your mutandus hair dude back oh yeah. it will happen man <laughs> yeah totally. birthday birthday mullet get ready yeah guys. you gotta yeah. you gotta show up back. yeah you gotta show up tuesday like in full with cornrows <laughs> yeah you gotta do something something Maybe. We, we all will uh, it's get, a big I'll birthday get my stream. Wife to style it. Yes. yes, please get do. ready, big, guys. Big birthday stream on Tuesday. Can't miss it. Everybody, come hang out. Say happy birthday to Gabian. Uh, but that's it for the Tony Lorenz Show on Power Comics. Thank you guys for hanging out, and we will talk soon. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. Have a good See night. See you later. See you. Power.